Yeah, he says he just did not even think twice when he found out there were kids in that car. It happened here on Highway 4. We're about a mile east of the Old River Bridge. Now, this is a stretch of highway that does not have shoulders. You can see the canal right next to the highway. Well, two cars collided. They hit head on, and one car carrying a family of six went into that canal. A fiery crash on Highway 4. I told my wife to stop the car. I jumped out. LaQuinn Johnson was driving to Discovery Bay with his family when he came upon a crash. CHP says a van was heading west on Highway 4 during last night's storm when a pickup truck went into the van's lane and hit head on. The van with a family of six inside went down the canal. We ran down there and jumped in and didn't even think. And, uh, I pulled out to one guy and got him to the little side of the riverbank thing, and then I went back and got the three kids. His wife and daughter tried to comfort the children, ages 2, 9, and 10. They were just like, my mom is in the car, my dad's in the car. And so I went back down and tried to save them, but I couldn't because they were pinned under the car. The parents died at the scene. The children were taken to Tracy Sutter Hospital for minor injuries. It's hard. Um, it's the most terrifying. Erica Parlog knows all too well how a crash on this stretch of, of highway like can be life changing. It was two years ago when she was driving with her daughter from Stockton to Discovery Bay and a car hit them head on. Fortunately, we were in a stretch of the roadway that had a shoulder. Um, you know, a different part of that roadway, we would have ended up the same as the car last night. Parlog says she often sees cars speeding and passing each other on this two lane highway. She doesn't blame the highway, though. She blames the drivers. People every day have to, you know, be notified of their family dying just because people, you know, when the weather's bad, don't don't want to slow down. Johnson agrees. He says he's glad he was there to help. Like if it was me or if it was my family, I want somebody to help us. So I don't know, just to help him. I don't know. And Johnson did get very emotional when he was talking to us and he had his young daughter with him and his wife. He says he would do it again. He jumped in the water with his cell phone and with his wallet in his pants, but he says he did not care. Now we could tell you that family is from Martinez and the man driving the truck. He is still in San Joaquin County Hospital. He underwent surgery last night and early this morning. Um, so the police are still waiting to interview him. This is still under investigation and there's still word that he may have fallen asleep at the wheel, but that has not been confirmed. That's the latest here in Stockton. I'm Melinda Meza, KCRA 3 News. Yeah, you're